Lake News Now is sponsored by Wade Covington Century 21 Prestige at the Lake. I'm Matt Markovy. Today's top stories, the Lake of the Ozarks toll bridge could lose the word toll in its name in the near future. Officials with the Lake of the Ozarks Community Bridge Transportation District say they're confident the road will be paid off sometime in the year 2026, meaning the tolls will go away for good. The bridge, built in the early 1990s, made part of the lake area accessible to drivers who would have otherwise had to take a long, winding route to get there. Reports are the original plan was to have the road paid off in 2026, and while a bond refinancing project means it could have been extended if needed, officials of the district are expressing confidence that extra time will not be needed. And a Kansas man survived a multiple rollover wreck in Camden County Monday evening. Missouri troopers say his car was traveling on Old South 5 near Aaron Road at around 8.30 when he swerved to avoid an oncoming vehicle. It caused his car to run off the road and roll several times before coming to rest on its top. The Highway Patrol report says the 22-year-old driver escaped with only minor injuries and was taken by ambulance to Lake Regional Hospital. And the Lake of the Ozarks Christmas Parade will kick off Saturday, December 10th, and the theme this year is Through the Generations. It's the 38th annual edition of the event, which starts at Highway 242 and proceeds along Bagnell Dam Boulevard toward the dam. At its conclusion, parade goers will be invited to enjoy holiday snacks at Luby's Plaza, where Santa Claus will be available to hear from children and give them goodie bags. The Grand Marshal for the parade this year will be Phyllis Morose, who has been chosen through a People's Choice vote for her many years of service to Lake Ozark. And that's your Lake News Now. I'm Matt Markovy.